Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to show you the, that part of uh, ASP.NET Core project uh, that is shopping cart project so just add to cart uh, and also check the authorizations uh, in a controller section so you can see that uh, here we have a cart controller and uh, authorize attribute is uh, added in the cart controller and also we have a area so uh, you know that uh, the when we add some uh, uh, items into the card then mm, then we have on the page that is home page so you can see that in the program.cs file and uh, in the program.cs file you can add uh, some cookies information so that we can uh, so that we can implement a return url on the authorize attribute so here we have a uh, some cookies application uh, some cookies in uh, configuration service con confi uh, cookie uh, configuration application cookies access denied path login path and logout but path is defined in the program.cs file after that you have to run your project easily uh, so just navigate to the pro uh, project uh, and uh, just run it and see the output is correctly visible on your uh, machine so here we have a builder.service.configure application cookie and options.access denied path uh, defined login path and logout path is defined so here we have and when we click on the uh, details page and just add to the card button here we go here we have a login detail uh, asking by the website when we add item into the cart so you can just add some detail uh, for the login like that uh, smith at the .com and the passwords of the smith and click on to the login button invalid login attempt so just change the uh, email id uh, for the user that is smith at the red gmail.com and the password is this okay here we go okay that's fine and you have to add some information into the card and after adding the some information into the card you have uh, got some session related errors like session has not been configured for the application of the request so uh, at this time you you have to say that uh, it's uh, it's not use uh, at this time so just comment it section that section will be commented and after that you have to run your application and you got your cart information will be added into the cart database table okay <coughs> so just comment it and okay now if the cart item is double equals to null then you can add uh, some information into the cart by the unit of work easily and if it is not null then increment the cart item by one so just also comment it because uh, that part is also uh, used in the session so just make it comment and after comment the uh, card details you have to add uh, some information into the cart so i will show the cart later on so now uh, after that you can see uh, here we have a layout dot uh, cshtml file and you can add some uh, cart information at here so just make add copy and paste just after that and and after that you can see change the area of the ASP area is customer and ASP action is index ASP controller is this and that is the uh, card controller and the ASP action is index okay now after that you can say that uh, you want to if you want to add some uh, uh, favicon icon like that so you can just add your favicon icon of the card like that bibi card that is the favicon icon okay 
and now here we go to run your project and here you can see uh, some cart uh, text on the navigation bar uh, display the cart icon on the navigation bar okay so oops here we have also a some text and uh, when we uh, click on the card you will see that index.cshtml file for the card it is not prepared so uh, first of all remove the uh, some um, html errors so here we go um, asp controller and the card it's uh, misplaced it here so just removed it and uh, after that you can see uh, uh, the card index page is not prepared so must to uh, prepare your card so if it is not stop debugging make the console uh, close the uh, console and click on the card controller and here you can see that index action method is prepared very well but uh, index.cshtml file is not prepared so just right click on the index action method and add a new action math uh, cshtml file cshtml file for the index page and here we have some information about the uh, logged in user that by using the claim identity and by using the claims uh, you can get the value of the current logged in user so by using claims.value you get uh, you you can get the current logged in id and also we have include properties like the product and uh, here we go for uh, order header and the list of card is actually a, uh, is the detail of the card vm and here we have a order header dot order total and order total makes the product price uh, is uh, multiply with the quantity so order header is prepared and after that you can see that uh, you can add uh, the card index page okay 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 uh, generate scaffolding generating code and here we have okay so already prepared uh, a cshtml file by me so you can uh, just prepare it in the bootstrap and uh, in this bootstrap template you can add the card details like uh, image of the product and product name product description in the short and also predict price and quantities and also you can uh, you can add uh, some uh, you can increment the item by using the increment button as well as you can decrement the item as uh, Okay, so here we have a shopping cart dot data access dot view models dot cart vm. Now, uh, cart vm is actually exist in the view model. So you can see that uh, here we have a for each loop because the cart vm contain a list of cart um, and the list of cart we have some product informations like the product image URL and uh, product name. So item dot product dot name you can just retrieve by using the simple straps, and here we have a at the rate HTML dot row just written the uh, simple content uh, without the HTML. Okay, and the next thing is to item dot product dot price is also mentioned, and after that we have a ASP. Uh, uh, here we have three buttons actually. Uh, just actually visit the website first of all, and after that. Uh, understand that code easily so because here we have three buttons and uh, just navigate to the website and you can see uh, the three buttons work for 
so the first button is the incremented by the cart item and the second button is used for the decremented the cart item and the third button is used for the deleting the cart items and in the uh, in the list just after the list you I, I have to show the order total okay and in the you can see here we have a uh, button that is the plus where action method is called to plus ASP route ID is item dot ID and uh, just go for the details and you can also go for the card without adding the items because uh, I have already added item in the in, into the card so I like the mic so here we have 700 into 1 that is the 700 is the grand total items and 700 into 1 that is 700 is the price and the 1 is the count that is the quantity and here we have a plus and the minus options is also there to increasing the quantities and also we have a, a delete uh, icon that uh, remove the cart items by 1 